I'm with uh, Himir Doshi, uh, who was uh, the founding member, one of the founding members of IDG Ventures. He's had his own company, which he has now sold, and he's now scouting for opportunities. I'm talking to him today from Israel, uh, where he is to scout for a technology that he can take to India. But we're going to hear from him more on what interests him the most. Hi, Himir. Hi. Lovely to have you, an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, uh, I hear that uh, you're looking for a great opportunity. You're looking at some exciting space that you can enter in and uh, start a company in India. Can you speak to me more about, uh, you know, what is the space that excites you and what do you think is, uh, is the hot uh, ecosystem in India that you can uh, tap on? Okay, so, um, uh, I mean, hot or not, uh, I'm not so sure, but okay. you know, I want to take a eight to ten year view on you know what are the transformative large scale opportunities in India. At least that was a criteria for me, need sure. not be for someone else. Sure. Uh, so I'm looking at something that has a tremendous scale opportunity, sure. which has a technology element to it. Right. Uh, technology as a differentiator because with technology, a lot of good things happen. You know, right. quality of people, the funding, the rising power, differentiation, scalability, everything sort of starts coming in. Right. You know, I'm sort of exploring uh, uh, the technology companies that uh, you know are coming out of Israel because Israel, as we know, doesn't have a local market of its own. So it has the tech and the R&D, but it looks out for uh, markets elsewhere. Uh, which are the interesting areas of uh, your uh, interest? Uh, so you know, right now, since I sold my company last year, um, you know, uh, I've got this sort of almost once in a lifetime opportunity of a clean slate you know so I can sort of pick and choose uh, but there are a few markets which I'm sort of deep diving into and studying more such as the you know I think EVs electric vehicle is okay. A, okay. Uh, a sort of very transformative opportunity in India the government is also supporting it very well right. and uh, Israel also has a um, significant history in uh, electric vehicle market in terms of battery chemistries in terms of right. uh, uh, the OEMs themselves and so on and so forth right so <clears throat> so that is one area for instance I see okay so would it be right to say that your next four years going to be in the EV market not yet not necessarily okay. uh, but you know so I, I'm wearing two in hats uh, two hats right now I mean one is the as an operator uh, you know I'll start my next venture but right. I'm also investing money Right. And uh, so, you know, I'll not be able to run a business in every industry that I like, but I can invest in every industry that Areas I like. Areas of way. investment as an angel investor. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, I, so I'm not doing only angels. I've been doing a lot of uh, public market equity, public market debt. I'm doing private equity funds. Okay. Uh, sort of the, as you say in India, the roti Makan businesses because there's so much more to do. Uh, as far as tech is concerned, uh, you know, I'm looking at venture debt. I'm looking at venture capital. Uh, and for that, I said that, you know, let's step out of India and look at disruptive technologies which are more amply available in a sense in right. places like Israel or the Bay Area. Right. And, uh, you know, make those investments in India as well as uh, sort of participate in Israeli kind of uh, ecosystems. I see. Uh, in technology, you mentioned EV. Uh, is there... Software, uh, EV, software. So these are two, three areas. I'm looking at. Okay.